Hi folks, Tim here again from High End Cheap Tech. Today we're going to be talking about 4K versus 1080p. Now, the first thing you hear about every new phone is, well, does it shoot 4K in this video and that video resolution? We're shooting this on 4K on a Mi A2 with image stabilization on, which really doesn't matter since I ain't moving. So, you know, if you're doing videos in your studio, you really don't need this. Let's go to the intro. We'll get right back to it after this. Hi folks, Tim here just cutting in. Quick message about TubeBuddy.com, as you will see coming up on the screen right now. TubeBuddy is the premier tool for helping you edit and maintain your presence as a creator on YouTube. It integrates flawlessly. If you have a free version, uh, it goes right into your browser and you use it as you're you know, doing your editing and, uh, and uploading. And it, it's an excellent tool. Uh, as far as prices go, the price is coming up on the screen. Um, if you get the free version, a lot of times they'll offer you, uh, they'll make you an offer. They made me an offer and I'm only paying $4 and 50 cents a month. So check it out at the link that you're going to see on the screen and at the link below, uh, www.tubebuddy.com forward slash high-end cheat tech and now let's get back to that video we were doing so we're shooting this whole video at 4k 30 frames a second is it going to be better or worse feedback is a necessity you really have to think this out you know, all the tech reviewers are going to slam me with, well, it does 4K and it has optical and EIS. Now, the Mi A2, that's like a, what, a 2018 phone, does have 30 frames a second with EIS. It's pretty horrible. I've tried it. I've tested it. Uh, it's not very good. But if you're doing YouTube videos and sitting in your little studio, do you really need this phone? If you're taking pictures of your grandkids and sending them on Facebook or wherever, or videos, do you need EIS? Are you worried about your video quality? Do you really think you're John Ford directing John Wayne? If you do, well, that's fine. But if you don't, I don't know. So I need you folks to tell me what you think about this 4K video, which is going to suck up half the storage on my uh, Mi A2. Probably. God knows how fast. I was going to use open camera with it, but I can't. So we're stuck with the lavalier mic you see sitting right there. Uh, for maximum audio quality. And uh, we'll see how many of you if you view this video, I want to leave feedback in the comments below and say, I saw it in 4K. It was great. Or, I only got to view it in 1080p. 90% of the world's population is probably viewing it in 720 or 1080 so why are you wasting your time with 4K? 
if you're sitting in the studio. Just do it. I mean, if you're out walking, and do, yeah, all these guys go up, they walk, and they run, and they go up steps. And, but if you're just reviewing products, why do you need 4K? It's a question that is unanswered. And they rarely will ever tell you that the 1080, yeah, lately, I didn't even realize it. I've been shooting at 1080, 60 frames a second. I didn't even know that. I thought it had set to 30. The human eye can only see 20. Two zero frames a second. That's all we can process. Now, you know, when you get into gaming and stuff like that, it makes a difference. You know, 4K screen on your smartphone. But if you didn't buy a smartphone to do that, and if you came to this site, you probably didn't buy your smartphone. Or were not searching for a good smartphone. They could do that. You were looking for something that would get the job done. Take pictures, take video. You know, shoot the grandkids, shoot the babies. I'm not advocating shooting anyone, by the way. Uh, don't film. But you ain't John Ford. And John Wayne is dead. So, why for you need 4K? You tell me. That's all I got for this first video of the day. So let's uh, wrap it up and send it to the outro.